So hey YouTube, welcome back to another other videos. So today, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be telling you guys how I picture my dream game collection. So obviously right now I can't display my game collection. I don't have the space because I still love my mom's house because I'm a student, I'm at uni, and it doesn't really make sense for me to like go and get my own place. But I will be moving out um, probably next year after I graduate and that's kind of got me thinking what kind of way do I want to display my games because I know I definitely want to display them. I have a big enough collection now that it feels like this needs to get out of its boxes and onto a display. Obviously this is all dream so god knows if it will materialize and I thought that I would just share it with you because why not? So right now my games and consoles and everything are what feels like all over the place. Some of them are displayed, some of them you can see the labels clearly um, as you can see in this footage and then other ones are just most of it actually is just in boxes like this. And then I also have the media corner over here where I have all of my consoles. Apart from the PlayStation 1 that sits on a shelf sadly over there. See what I mean? My collection is kind of all over the place. First of all, my dream game room would obviously be, it's gonna be a dedicated room. A bit like this room. If I had a spare room in my house, it would be the game room. However, I wouldn't actually want my consoles to be in the game room. I'd want my, my most modern consoles to be hooked up to the TV and then I might have like a second like CRT or something like that in the game room for them older consoles. Or I could have a setup kind of like um, when Sakurai was unveiling Min Min at the Smash Bros, uh, the recent Smash Bros and ARMS Direct. His setup was class. I would not say no to a setup like that in my living room. Two TVs, loads of consoles. It just looks really, really cool. I think for my game room, I would have white shelves and a carpet. I've always kind of been a fan of the white shelf look because I think that white shelves just look so clean. I've seen a lot of game collectors tend to have brown or black shelves. And the thing is about white is that white goes with pretty much every color. It's like a base color that goes with all the other colors. So whatever wallpaper I chose or whatever paint I chose, for the walls it would definitely match. I've seen a lot of people recommend those Billy shelves from Ikea and you can get them in white so I probably will get a few of those to display some games on. I think getting one or two at the start could be a good start to the game room and then just build on it from there because I don't have enough games that would fill an entire shelf yet. Well I don't think I do. I think if I start displaying them I'll start to say oh god I have a lot. <laughs> I also would like to have like gaming related posters and stuff around the walls. I love posters and I've seen these metal posters from this company called Displate and they look amazing. There's some Life is Strange ones on there that just look so cool and I know they're quite expensive like some of them are like 70 odd pound and the thing is it's metal. It's not going to break or anything. If you look after it long you don't bend it it, there, it's metal. It's pretty durable like. I would definitely want to have a few of those like human related around the room. Probably Life is Strange, Animal Crossing. Oh Uncharted. Uncharted could be a cool one. Last of Us. You can have a bunch of different ones. For my dream game room I would also like to have started collections for more consoles than what I'm currently collecting for now. I want to collect for pretty much every console that I can because there's obviously going to be games in every console that I have an interest in. For example, I really want to start collecting for the Dreamcast, the Wonder Swan, uh, the Gamecom because that's a really weird console and it's not, it doesn't have a big library so it would be easy enough to collect for. Original Xbox I have never delved into and I'd love to do that. N64, the NES, the SNES, Sega Mega Drive, Master System, all that. I want to collect for all that and I, I need to get on that. I don't have any cartridge based games apart from my Game Boy games at the minute and I, I want to change that. I want to I want to have more games and I'm hopefully when I get back into collecting because I've been out of the game for a while. Once I get back into collecting I'm going to go hard with these. I'd also like to get one of those like glass display cases. I've seen Wood from Beat em Ups. He has that and it looks so cool. In mine I would display like my amiibos. Currently my, my amiibos are literally just sitting on top of my PlayStation. My Yoshi just kind of hangs about over there. There's another Yoshi over there. There's an Eevee over there. There's a bunch of just stuff lying around that like would be so cool if I could display 
in a glass case. And I would also probably reserve one of the display cases to display all of my Life is Strange stuff. Life is Strange comics, my Life is Strange collector's editions. Like you could display those in the glass cases and I just think that would look super super cool. I'd also have gaming related merch just all around the room. Probably merch that I picked up at retro gaming conventions or on Etsy. I'm really hoping, you know, once the world kind of gets back to normal and after I graduate uni, I would really love to go to more retro gaming conventions and stuff like that. That is definitely something that I want to start doing because you can get so many cool things at conventions that you just wouldn't see out in the wild. So yeah, I definitely want to go to some retro gaming con conventions. I'd also love to have like all of my games in my collection in a displayable state. Currently, my Game Boy games are all loose. So I'd love to like find a way to like display my cartridge based games in a nice way and have them able to be displayed rather than just chucked in a drawer. I don't want those Game Boy games to be out of sight. I want them to be displayable just like the rest of my games. I also want my PlayStation 1 games to be displayable because if you couldn't catch my last video where I done a tier list of my consoles, I didn't mention my dislike for PAL PlayStation 1 cases and how grubby they end up looking and how they break easily and how they're just really cheap and shit. So on my PlayStation games, I actually buy loose, which actually makes them a lot cheaper. I want to get the dual cases that like are the CD ones where you can see on the spine what the game is. Um, so I, I'm probably gonna buy a few packs of those. Use Photoshop to just adjust the PAL artwork onto the CD case size and uh, it should look pretty sick. It, it should look very, very good on a shelf. So I wanna have that all completed and I wanna have all that be able to be displayed in my collection. I would also like my collection to be in alphabetical order, just for organization purposes. My um, Excel spreadsheet is in alphabetical order. I want, you know, the spreadsheet to correlate with what's in the room. Cause I could, oh, I could add a column to my spreadsheet and I could put on it what shelf each game is on. Oh, that is next level. Is that too far? I don't care if that's too far. I'm definitely gonna do that. I love organization. And lastly, my dream game collection would just be a room full of games that I took an interest in. That is my goal with game collecting. And everybody has their own way of collecting, but if I see a game and I go, that looks cool, I buy it and I put it in the collection. Even if when I come home and I pop it in the console and I go, this is shit. I just take the disc out and put it in the shelf. Well, put it in the box at the minute. I don't throw it away because I took an interest in that item and I bought it. And that is what game collecting is for me. I know everybody has their own reasons for collecting. Some people like to collect their rare stuff. That just ain't me. However, that doesn't mean that there's rare games that I'm not gonna buy. There's some really rare games that I, I've seen gameplay of and I've seen the cover art and I went, I really want to play that game. Like uh, Fire Emblem for the GameCube. That game is so expensive. Even Fire Emblem for the Wii. That one's pretty expensive. There's even some collector's editions and I'm just like, I would love to buy that. And I just, I just can't. Um, some of them are over a hundred pound. You're like, what? But that is my dream for my game collection. It's just to have a room full of games that I took an interest in. And I think that is what keeps collecting fun for me because I get to experience so many different games because I'm interested and I'm just fascinated by games. So that's what my dream collection is gonna look like. An eclectic mix on white shelves. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys want to put in the comments what your dream game collection would look like, I would love to hear it. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you didn't enjoy it, please a big thumbs up. And also subscribe for some love. And hopefully I will see you guys in the next video.